Hello everyone, welcome back to the Year of Rogue and welcome to Fidel Dungeon Rescue. Now here we are in the overworld lobby and there's a few different segments around here. There's the great big ominous red portal, but for the main game I don't think that's what we want. I think we want the staircase on the right, so we're just gonna hop down here. And now we are descending through 15 levels trying to find and rescue our owner, our grandma, basically. So we can eat the creatures by moving through them, but that will consume our health, but then we can subsequently consume these med kits to try and keep ourselves alive long enough to get enough XP to level up and then to escape. So we need 15 XP to get out of here. So we can go something like 1-2. We have no health now, but we can keep moving. If we were to try and eat something else, we would then die. But we'll take this med kit, activate this mushroom, and then if enough turns pass, that mushroom will just die. So let's eat these two. Heal again. These two and heal again. Now let's try and get that mushroom dying. We can now eat this dead mushroom. That's worth 5 XP to us. Get those two. Get these two as well. That dead mushroom. And fairly swiftly there, we are all done. So now we have these tiny spiders. The tiny spiders do not count as enemies that will hurt us, but they do count towards things like triples. So if I go one, two, three, we get extra XP because it was a triple. And then these large red spiders are rendered unable to attack us for one action. So how do we want to do this? I think something like... That's not going to be it, is it? That gets us a triple. We can heal up and... That is going to have to do, I think. We've gained enough gold to use a bomb in a pinch. Now, these large plants with the tendrils, we have to eat the two sides before we try and eat the center. However, we don't want to get ourselves locked in. That would be a problem for us. So we can eat them like that. Let's go the long way around. We get an extra coin and 3 XP there. Another coin. Now, we can't eat this plant and escape, unfortunately. But we don't really need to. And now we have our first boss. We have to eat 15 of the little slimes around before the guy in the alien ship tries to shoot us. obviously hear the beats that they tend to attack. We need seven more. And if we do this, they die, but we can't escape because we're trapped by our own lead. Or leash, if you prefer. We can do this, but I've never known this to be particularly helpful. need a med kit desperately. It's not going to work out, is it? I 
I assume that it's programmed that there will always be a solution. Ah, oh, crap. I biffed it. I'm in the same problem I had myself in earlier. Except now, the spirit is going to start chasing us down our leash. Which is a bad thing. It might only happen if we get hit once more, perhaps? Now we are definitely being chased. And if we do that, we can't get out. We still can't get out. I biffed it. All right, from the top. All right, we've got tiny spiders. So we want to work in the triples because we get the extra XP for those, but we also want to try and work in killing the red spiders. Miss out on some gold there, but we got plenty of XP. There's a chest here. Let's see if that chest is a mimic or not. It is not a mimic, so we can safely collect that in a moment. I can't remember how to defeat the snakes correctly. Oh, we now have one poisoned heart. So is this going to kill me? It is. But we have time. Alright, we level up. We leave. The poison is no longer affecting us. Now we have turtles. If we can eat the turtles by the tail, they'll be worth extra points to us. But they will turn to face us if we bark. If I can get that guy by the tail. But that seems good enough for me. Right, back to this. This looks a bit simpler. We've got one, two, three, heal. One, two, three, heal. One, two, three, heal. Uh, cash, rather. Six more, two med kits. And there's Grandma. We have to escape down this hatch, but we have to push the button to get through. And unfortunately, Mecha Dog has stolen Grandma. Such a shame. Right, now we have buttons. The buttons will invert all the pillars. And if we can press exactly three buttons on our way over to those guys, we can eat them. For 15 XP. But we obviously want to eat both of them. But how are we going to get 
the last one without trapping ourselves in. Let's try it from the other side, because the level is not entirely symmetrical. Eating that spider is clearly not in our interest. Wakes up the other guy. Excellent, there we go. Huge amount of XP for us there. We can go one, two, three, triple. One, two, three, triple. Now, we can't do it that way round because we will die. We need that med kit at the top. Can we get both of these other spiders? I don't think so. Well, we want at least one triple. Eight of fifteen. Now we've got the guys with like the book faces. They will wake up if you pass them by. And then you have to take enough steps for them to fall back asleep. have a whole lot of health remaining. But that is great. That is a perfect clear. Very happy with that. Cutting through the center there. Right, now we have a boss fight. This is the mecha wolf we met earlier. We need to defeat them by getting them to walk into more enemies than we walk into. Oh god damn it, they woke up. Now what we also want to avoid is them walking into our medkits and their own medkits. from this side. I can't figure out a path. At least the spirit isn't chasing us immediately, although we don't get another do-over now. to go through both of these awake things can I I think unless we do that instead but now he needs to do five damage we can't do five to him
we need those ones in the corner. We need to utilize every negative hit point for them. Oh dear. I just don't want him taking up my medkits either. We've been here so long the song has looped. Don't want to walk through the med kit. We do something like this. We need him to do one more. But if we go through the electric one, it's going to kill us. And that heals him. How can we get one more pip of health? Can't walk on each other's trails. I'm completely stumped. We do this. He is trapped into one corner, which is no good. Two. One. No. Two left, there's two enemies there, right? So we have to go across, up. Freedom. Sweet, sweet freedom. Right, here, we can bark out the candles. And that reveals for us the extra chest level. So, we are. I can't remember if white is playing on the other side of the board of us and we are playing black. Alright, there's a bishop in the corner. That's a pain. So we'll have to. Come all the way over, then take out the remaining pawns in such a way that we can escape. And we get a load of XP and we are now at 5 max HP. Alright, this is just kind of a XP farm. We want as many free triples as possible. I'm sure there should be a way to get all of them. Oh, 
All right, that's good enough for me. We spent long enough on that boss fight to not run around the rest of this. All right, we want the mushrooms activated as early as possible. Oh, we've activated that mushroom, but then trapped it in completely. And we cannot escape here, although we could use a bomb. I get lazy about it. I shouldn't get lazy. Should start on this side, get that mushroom going. get both of these mushrooms i don't think we can because how are we gonna activate this one and still have a path to escape all right i'm out keep my bombs though all right first thing is this a mimic it is a mimic We go one, two, three. We can eat this, two there, and escape. Level 14 of 15. We need 42 XP to escape from here. Now, are these guys the ones? that if we have zero health, the vampire-ish guys go to sleep. I think that's them. It's just hard to negotiate intentionally having zero health. we need to save our exit plan as well. Now what I also want is to possibly use a potion to escape. It's just really hard to get to zero HP on this floor to then try and eat the zombie-ish dudes. spider though have I used so many spiders already so many bombs right it was kind of necessary there wasn't it 
But if we also bomb this one. We have to make a choice. That's 3 XP. This is 5 XP. Alright. I'm not proud of that. We used all of our cash. But I'm going to keep moving. Probably wish I had some bombs here. But this is our boss fight. So the eggs will heal us. Causes the other pieces to do less harm. Four more. Three, two, one. But now we're stuck. We cannot escape. Hey, we made it out. We used a bomb, but we gained the cash for that. We can then put Granny up on the lift, throw the switch, and she is saved. And we come down this last piece of staircase. And if we have some health to give up, and some more health, and some more health, and a last piece of health... They remove the stairs. We extinguish this candle. And we are back to the start of the game. And now there is that thing. Do we do that as well now? Do I qualify this as a win? Let's see what this is. Underworld 1 of 10. Oh god. Okay. Well... I guess we're here for a few moments more, although we're back to just 2 HP. And there's like keys and gems and stuff. There's a key. There's a gem. got the other key so presumably this chest is now available to us 10 xp that's huge all right we'll slide on down zombie turtles strange okay we've got the double key situation we've got the gem situation again have the turtles turning to face us, which is a problem in its own right. That is not a mimic. Right, bomb this spider. Let's bark and get this turtle's attention. Oh, wait, we're going to level up now. So that gives us extra HP to work with through here. Ah, but we didn't get the gem. All right, 
work then it will be a bomb here excuse me bomb here Then we can't get any of the rest of these guys, so I think we're just going to leave. Alright, back to our old alien pal. But now we have these thickets of thorns in the way. That's not going to work out. Six more. Two more. All right, all right. Um, centipede? Can I eat? Yeah, I can eat a center section and it creates two heads. That will be interesting, I'm sure. All right, that gets me stuck. That creates a guy with two heads. Gets me stuck. I have no idea if we get loads and loads and loads of XP for destroying the entire guy, but I'm content to keep moving. Keys and gems again. If we get this key from here, we can never come back on ourselves. And should we eat this plant arm instead on our way round? Triple gives us an exit. But if we don't go get the other key first, we can't get that chest. Can't take either of those health ups because then we'll get stuck again. So give me a potion. All right, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Underworld six of ten. Looks like we've got spike traps now. Obviously, we want the two keys and the gem. But finding a safe way through when they're all sleeping seems tough. Although, this particular map does not have an experience requirement. So, we don't have to farm as much XP as possible. That is a mimic. 
There's that other key right there. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Seven of ten. And we've got some other kind of dog on a leash. Let's hope this one goes a bit faster than last time. Gem. So we got the gem, but I wanted to come get him to come upwards. getting him to eat nearly enough of these foes, are we? Let's try it from the other side. We get max H if we level up. Oh, if he gets a triple, he heals. I'm so confused. I'm not sure why he was suddenly healing, but. We figured it out. Oh. I have to exit on the other side. Alright. Underworld 8 of 10. We've got keys. We've got mushrooms. We've got our gem again. Where's the other key? On the left. So... to get a med kit from here. Zoom me on back. Right, that's both keys. That's the chest. have to do I think 9 of 10 so we really want to fill up that XP bar this floor we need 65 XP to leave so we can probably manage it problem is a lot of these book headed dudes are in pairs which is going to make it difficult to eat both of them as we pass around XP more. 
that's enough. We can even just take this med kit and have enough. Wait, did we miss a gem? I'm mad about it. Oh god. Oh, we got shot by the laser in the corner. Damn it. There's another one there as well. of snake. We got nine HP left. Bomb. Bark. 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 Oh, we've locked ourselves out of the corner. Damn it. We gotta go way back. Concentrating really hard to try and make sure I don't screw up a second time. Fourteen more. We have six for free in gems. But we can't travel along this line below me because of the generator thing in the corner. We have one HP left. find one more damage along the way somewhere. That'll do, right? Hey. We're now Ghost Dog. There's Grandma. What on earth is happening? I guess that must be true ending. I have no idea. But if there was any doubt about whether I beat the game or not, credits rolling says, yes, I did. And we can knock this one out of the uh, year of Rogue. All right. Well, I will leave that with you guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.